Pay attention. Guys, but today, I got another video for you today. This one is cool, guys, because it's just safety tips. Self-defense tips to remember. Stuff that people get wrong. To another level. You see, when you buy a package, when you open up that package, the first thing you see is warning what not to do, okay? And nobody trains that way. Nobody practiced that way. Before you teach me what to do, you walk into a school, I tell you, sit down, sit in the stands, start doing this, start doing the kata, start doing the form, start doing this and this and this. Everybody start doing this. Hold on a second. Why don't you show me what not to do? See, because when you show me what not to do, I don't get hurt. See, that's, the, that's why they put the warning clearly so you can see it. Because they don't want you to get hurt. So when people come into my school, I tell them what to do. And I also tell them what not to do. Because I don't want anyone to get hurt while they're training. So you have to know what not to do. And I'm gonna show you right now on basic techniques where people mess up. For you guys out there who think you got it and think you know, humble up a little bit, watch this, you might get something out of it. Kenny, come on in here. Okay, first things first, off a of basic hook punch. Let me turn this around. Off a basic hook punch. Everyone practice off a basic hook punch. What not to do. When a man punches you in the face, never do this. Never. If you can block a strike coming to your face, if you can do this block any way you want, I'm not, I don't know what your system, your style teach you how to block. But if you can block like this, and this hand is what they used to call in karate in chamber, this is wrong. Ah, right, before all you karate people start emailing, ah, right, start putting inside the comments, what do you mean it's wrong? Let me tell you why. Because the same energy that it takes to do this is the same energy that it takes to do this. No difference. So, this is a better use of energy, motion, and movement. Because instead of you doing this, bang! And he throws the other one, bang! And he throws that one, bang! Why not just understand that motion causes motion? So when that motion comes, this motion comes. Right into his face. Better use of energy. Now, let's say he just grabs you. Let me tell you what not to do. Most people don't like being touched or grabbed. So the first thing they do is tell the person, get your hands off me. Once again, wrong, wrong. You gotta think about your first movement because every motion causes a motion. What happens because you're so concerned about your garment and while, you, while you're pushing down on this, he's gonna punch you in the face. You ever thought about that? Okay, and also never cross your hand. Never cross your hand to try to knock a hand away. Because you see what I just did? I brought the hand across my face. So you never want to cross under the hand. Never, not sometimes, never cross under the hand to move the hand away. Why cross under when I can use this hand and now if I cross the hand under, what am I gonna use to protect him from punching me in the face? What, what, can, what tool can I use when both hands are like this and my body is like this and that punch comes like that? What am I gonna use? I can't. So same side, same arm. If he's grabbing on this side, I use this side. If he's grabbing on this side, I use this side. I don't cross over. Even if he's grabbing in the center, 
I don't cross under on either way to try to move the hand. If he's grabbing me with this hand, I hold and I use the other hand. If he's grabbing me in the center with this hand, I don't want to come over the hand, I just use that hand, okay? See, these are some little tips that you need to know. Now, two hands. Most people knock the hand down. Here's a little tip. Don't push the hands all the way down. Because when you push down with power, not only does his hands go down, but your hands also go down. But the problem with this is your hands go down on the inside. His hands are on the outside. That gives him the ability not only to bear hug you, but to circle around you and go into your vision. Let me clearly show you what I'm talking about. So I push down hard, he will go into my vision. See? Now, I push down hard, now he's going to just keep coming forward and bear hug me. You understand? So I don't want to push down hard. I want to just bounce off the hand and not give him the ability. So even if he keeps moving forward, I can still use my hands to push off. Okay? Now, somebody grabs you on the shoulder grab to spin you. You never want to turn with your hands down. Never. That's a little tip. You know? And you want to turn and go, who is it? Who are you? No, you don't want to do that. You got to consciously try to remember if someone grabs you and spins you, you always want to, if worst case scenario, even if you don't project them towards him, just cover your own face because he might turn and punch you right in your face. So at least your hands are blocking your own face. And if he cross turned you, now you're on the inside, same thing. Cross turn you, shoot your hand. Look, look, my hands just come right up. My hands just come right up and I slide back. I turn and I slide back. Why don't I step back? Because he can move faster forward than I can move backwards. So if I turn and I didn't do the slide and he bum rushes me, my balance is going to be gone. But when I slide like this, now I could, like a boxer or a wrestler, I can move and I can slide to anywhere and any direction I need to go. Okay? That's a tip. Another tip. If a man ever asks you or tells you what's in your pocket, just put your hands up and, and you got to tell him. Don't let him just, just don't say, hey, God said, give, you, give, me my, give me your money. You don't just stand there and go, put your, no. Put your hands up. Yo, give me some money, man. What? And you just say, pockets. the money, yo, dude, yo, the money's, in, the huh? money's in my money pocket. At? The money's in my pocket. See? Now, here's why. Why do I put my hands up and say the money's in my pocket because he's going to give me a command. He's going to say, put your hands down. Put your hands down. Boom. That means I can move. That means I can move my hands because he, to he told you to move. Right. Okay. Or he told me, keep your hands up. And I tell him my money's in my pocket. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Now the money's in my so, pocket. So when he reaches for my pocket, motion causes Motion. Kenny, honestly, hand, right? my hands are up. Mm -hmm. Can you think about grabbing my pocket and defending yourself at the same time? No. Try, go in my pocket no. and think about I'm defending. Focused on, I'm focused on getting that what's in your pockets. Talk to them. You know, I'm not worried about him defending himself because I believe I already got him intimidated. So I'm thinking that he, he ain't even thinking about defending himself. He ain't even giving it a shot because I'm telling him, yo, dude, yo, yo the money's no, there, bro. Right. Take it. So once he go for it, he's not even thinking about defending himself. He already think that I submitted, like Kenny said. So when he does that, go, yo, yo, boom! You immediately, guys, you gotta be now. This is where you gotta go outside the box. 
Immediately, you can't do this because he could recover from a punch. When the hands in your pocket, stop, Teddy. His head is completely open. Completely open. Completely open. You have to grab the back of his head, pull it into you, into it, and whap, 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 headbutt if necessary. Because he's not doing anything. And guys, Lord, please pay attention. Because if this idiot cross hands and go in my pocket, oh, he's, he's dumber than dumber. You know that movie called Dumber and Dumber? He's the dumbest one out of the dumber and dumber. Okay? Because cross hand, look at the body mechanics on that. I hold him, whoa! Cross hand, can he go in there? I hold the hand, whoa! Can't do nothing about it. Cross hand, please. Watch this. And I'm going to do it slow because Kenny don't know it's coming. He has no idea it's coming. When he goes there, I'm going to turn and blast him in the groin. I'm just going to grab him whoo, into the groin. And as soon as he grabs his groin, because no one grabs their groin with one hand, he's going to pull away and grab with two. I'm going to, I don't, I'm no Bruce Lee, but if a guy's grabbing his his, his, I see his head like this, my foot's gonna go whoop right into his face and I'm gonna take off. You see, because that little turn from the side, when I did whoop, he's, gonna, he's just gonna grab. Guys, I'm giving you little tips and things, remember, what not to do. You understand? So those are the things you don't, you, you don't do. You don't do things where you're gonna set yourself up for failure. Man gets in your face one more time. No, what, what? No, back up. Get away from me. No, you don't do that. Because now you automatically put him in a fighting mode, in combat mode, where before he, he was in intimidate mode. I'm going to scare him. I'm going to intimidate him. I'm going to break him down. I'm going to chump him. I'm going to punk him. I'm going to make him feel soft. So now I just, oh, oh, oh. Yo, go do the car. You start, you start telling him, yo, there's no problem. I don't want to fight. Please don't hurt me. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Keep him in that mode. Non-threatening manner. Always start from that non-threatening manner. And never push off. Never. Never. Let him break the three-foot rule. Let the pan, the man or the woman, because you got some radical chicks out there. Let them get up in your face in a second. And remember. Remember the video. I cut your face. Okay, remember that I'll cut your face video. Because women will get up there and say, what, what, what? And women in prison learn how to whoop, spit out, and there goes your face. Because you let some ratchet chick get up in your face and you're thinking to yourself, I wish she would put her hand. Man, I'll punch her like a man. I'll beat her like, that's what you're thinking in your head. While she's, yeah. And all of a sudden she's doing like this. Hey, what are you talking about? Hey, hey, hey. Woo. Yep. Done. That's how fast they do that. They practice talking, spitting out, slicing before you even know what happened. So guys, those are some of the things to look out for, what not to do. Warning. I gave you a warning. Now, Kenny's gonna tell you what to do. Guys, you know what to do, guys. Hit that subscribe button, guys, if you found this video helpful. If you found value in this video, guys, man, that's the number one thing. If you found value in this, please share this with as many people as you know, guys. Share us on all, all social media platforms, guys. Share this video, guys. Like it, comment. Let us know what else you want us to work on, guys. And we like you guys. We love the content. We love. Uh, producing it and we want to thank all of you guys for supporting us as always guys we'll see you in the next video guys peace to another